President Trump on the phone with the head of the NRA, Wayne LaPierre, this afternoon. Trump's message, according to The Atlantic, universal background checks are off the table, though some White House officials are pushing back on that. The president publicly supported background checks and the expanded background checks in the days after the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton that killed 31 people. But tonight, CNN is learning folks in the White House from Capitol Hill and outside groups have all been pressuring the president to turn away. That may be exactly what is behind this change in tone. We have very, very strong background checks right now, but we have uh, sort of missing areas and areas that don't complete the whole circle. And we're looking at different things. And I have to tell you that it is a mental problem. And I've said it a hundred times. It's not the gun that pulls the trigger. It's the person that pulls the trigger. Out front now, Rob Astorino, member of President Trump's 2020 re-election advisory council, and Aisha Moody-Mills, Democratic strategist and CNN political commentator. Thank you guys for being here. Rob, is the president caving to the NRA? No, I think it's typical. Any president, like President Obama, would talk to Planned Parenthood when an abortion issue came up. This is advocacy. And there are 5 million people that are members of the NRA, many more millions, tens of millions, who are gun owners who are not members of the NRA, uh, who have serious concerns about where we might go. The slippery slope is a real issue. It's not even hidden anymore because the Democrats, just even a couple of years ago, were saying, no, we're not coming after your guns. Now they're outwardly, we have presidential candidates outwardly saying, yes, we're coming after your guns. We want mandatory buybacks, which is confiscation. And so well, there are some right, serious issues on the table. What we're talking about right now is background checks, though. But background checks would not have prevented just about 90% of these mass shootings. Nothing prevents, nothing prevents exactly. 100% of the time. But People you know are screaming, what I've heard from do something. From some Republicans on Capitol Hill, that if it does something, it's so, a good thing after what they saw in El Paso and Dayton. We've had 20,000 or so gun laws right now, all common sense gun laws on the books, none of which have prevented these because they're isolated. They're done by deranged people. And when you have good Americans, which is 99.99% who are gun owners. And 99.99% would pass those background checks down. Yeah. Aisha, what do you do with it? Precisely. What we have is a situation where thousands of people, thousands of people have been murdered at the hands of gun violence. And we're having a conversation right now where the president is literally caring more about the $54 million or so that the NRA spent on his campaign that he hopes that they're gonna spend again for his reelection um, and getting into bed with them and hugging guns as opposed to hugging people. I think this entire conversation is really a testament to the character of this clown that's in the White House who literally does not care about lives and does not care about people and cares more about this quote unquote advocacy, but this lobby that's frankly a lobby of death at this point. Because when you cannot see clearly that just doing something, Republicans, many Republicans are saying, let's do something to at least try to mitigate lives lost. Let's do that. Let's try to mitigate lives lost. And the president's like, eh, well, we already got some policies on the books. To me, it just goes to, at this point, a conversation we should be having about the moral fiber, moral fabric, moral compass of this White House, which is just completely lacking. Specifically, I'm very curious, though, what changed? Because just days ago, we heard from Donald Trump that, uh, here's one quote, I think we can bring up background checks. Like, we've never had them before. I think Mitch McConnell's on board with them. I think we can do something about it. He's, the president said that. How else are people supposed to see this other than he speaks with the NRA a bunch of times and now he's changed his position? Look, the landscape has not changed. The only thing that we've, that, that, this is the only thing that we've seen change. Well, the landscape in 2009. When no, no, the no I'm, talking about, I'm talking about right now. No. Talk about right now. Stay here. Stay today. We're talking you know, about no, today you know, because is you what just we're talking about. It's, it's a death lobby and Republicans are gripping. When the Democrats, that is inflammatory as well. There are yeah, a lot of people And when the Democrats do, controlled in 2009 the White House, the Senate and Congress with a filibuster proof. Why didn't they do all these things? Why didn't they? The question is, no, 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 we're talking about again, today. No, so no, now no, we no. have an opportunity We had mass shootings back then, motion. too. So why and didn't so they do anything when they had the votes? Miss opportunities, but answer my question. <laughs> 
people say do something, do something that will work. We know this will not work. Let's you go back not, to the question about... You do not about know the, that. You all do these not know would have that. passed their background Let's checks. Let's go back what to the question at hand, which is why the president about, is flip-flopping. The fact of the matter is that every time there's been a shooting, the president of the United States has claimed that, oh, yeah, background checks. Mind you, he came into office and essentially rescinded um, the, the background checks that Obama, the Obama administration had tried to move forward. But that would have again... Put, that would have put more restrictions on people with mental illness. Right. He, he actually dialed that back okay. in executive order. So, so, so again, every time there's a shooting, the president president says one thing, oh yeah, we're going to do something, then gets on the phone with the NRA and flip-flops. So the question becomes, and we just watched the president say, oh, it's a mental issue. Is it a mental issue is when you believe something one day and then you decide the next day to change your tune over and over and over again? I think we need to get to the heart of the matter of why Donald Trump can't seem to form an opinion and keep it, especially when it comes down to the well-being of the American people. Okay. Is it not a mental issue? Because He's as, flip-flopping? No. <laughs> Every time it's brought up right now that it's not that a mental health the, that issue. The, that gets to the red flag. No. And I'm, I think, and most people are in favor of red flags if it's done correctly. And there's also Lots a slippery slope it. on that. Lots of states have done it already. You're making up slippery slopes and caveats as a way to do nothing. Oh, really? Just and like abortion? And that is where we are. That is where we are. Do you... If this, this is the president's position now that universal background checks are off the table, um, without his support, do you think that this effort is dead before it even began when they get back to get back to Congress effort. <laughs> you know, Mitch McConnell has proven that he doesn't really want to move much. But honestly, I think that there's a groundswell in America right now. I think that the American people are tired of the doublespeak. I think they're tired of the, the, the cowing to these powerful lobbies. And I think that the American people want to see some movement. To me, what's going to happen when folks get back is they're going to be looking at the Senate landscape and elections. And they're going to be looking at what's happening on the ground. And I think that Republicans at this point are tired of people dying. They're tired of people dying who are in their districts, who are close to their districts, and they feel an urge to do something. Now, the question becomes, what is the something? Right. right. And, but I do exactly. think that people are are feeling some motivation, which is why it's it's quite infuriating that the White House is not exercising any leadership here. Well, we also had over 312 people so far this year in Chicago die by gun homicide. Stop trying to La- make it no, no, seem no. like Last weekend in Philadelphia, other, they went, they we went wild and they had gun deaths all over the place. Doing. Why aren't we talking about that? Why aren't we having vigils yes, there? Why aren't we talking lot, about there, all of it? No, I get to, all I of it. Tell you guys, would I that have prevented? Super tired. I, would that have do, prevented? We, could debate, we can debate a million things. But would what that I would have like prevented? to say, stop asking me questions. Well, I'm Seriously. going to ask the question. I get really tired when I ask a question. You guys, you guys keep trying to change it to another topic. We can talk about Chicago tomorrow. Right now, I'm talking about how, the, how President Trump has backed down from something that he promised he didn't and something promise. that he wanted. He suggested. And ba- not even close to suggested. We can get it, and he says Mitch McConnell wanted it. If he was making that up, maybe. But that's what I'm asking right now, is if he's changing his position, why he's doing it instead of, uh, instead of talking about Chicago. No, that's what I want because it's all tied in. It's all tied in. If you have universal background checks, would 312 people not be dead in Chicago this year? Because gangbangers are going to look up on if you, Google where they should one do a life, gun. Saving on. one life because a background check would keep someone from getting a gun, that, that doesn't matter? It does, but that also would be, then why don't we just take everyone's gun away? Because that would cure the problem, right? Right? Rob, that is not what I'm saying right now. One death would be safe. One death would be safe if we the took away every I hope we can fight about it. paying you well because you guys sit here and you parent these talking They're points. They're not paying me And the reality all. is, is that I haven't heard you once express any empathy for the of people who I are do. victims of gun violence. I just brought up people not in Chicago once, and Philadelphia. And of course... Not once suggesting that we should I, I will, do anything to figure we out how to stop gun violence But every time mental illness is brought up, the left goes... Oh, no, no, no. That's not true. It was actually oh, absolutely. the left that has talked American so American Psychological Association has come out illness. against it. Don't know, because now we are putting a bad reputation on people with mental why, illness. Why is your that's president, now the why new, is your president right. a flip-flopper? I mean, I think that that's really the question. What does he believe? What is he going to do? Again, we didn't get it anywhere in that tonight.